Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 3.43 from Sadiku book. So the question is use mass analysis to find VAB and I0 in the circuit of this figure here. So we are asked to use mass analysis, which is actually a fancy name for KVL, which is the Kirchhoff voltage law. So we need to do loop analysis in this circuit. Okay, let's name this as I1 here. And then here as I2. And for this loop here as I3. Alright. We have I1, I2, and I3. So we need to do KVL at all the loops. Okay, let's exactly do that. First, we need to do KVL at loop I1. KVL at loop I1. KVL said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. Okay, let's start from this voltage source, 80 volt voltage source, and the current is flowing from the negative terminal to positive terminal. So we will have minus sign, and then the magnitude is 80, so I'll have minus 80, and then plus we will have 20. The only current that passes through this resistor is just I1, so I will have I. And then we will move on to this 30 ohm resistor. We will have 30. And then multiplied by I1. Because we are currently working in I1. But then here I3 is flowing to the opposite direction. So we we'll have minus I3 here. Okay. And then the last component is that 20 ohm. So we'll have 20 there. And so we'll have I1 here. But in this case here. I2 is flowing to the opposite direction of I1, right? I1 goes to the left, I2 goes to the right. So we'll have minus I2 and all of that will equal to 0. And let's do some simplification. Okay, so we'll have 20 plus 30 plus 20. That will be 70 I1, right? And then the term I2 only comes from here. So we'll have minus 20 I2. And then the term I3 only comes from here, so we will have minus 30 I3. And let's move this 80 to the right hand side, so we will have 80 there. And nothing further that we can do from here, so let's save this as equation number 1. Okay, let's play the same game in the loop number 2. Let's do that, KPL at loop I2. KPL at loop I2. KVL said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. As usual, I will start in from the source here. So the current is flowing from the negative terminal to positive terminal. So we will have negative sign and the magnitude is 80. Okay, now let's move on to this 20 ohm resistor. But now we are working on I2. So I2 came first. But here I1 is flowing to the opposite direction of I2. Right? I2 goes to the right. But I1 goes to the left. So I2 minus I1. Good. And then the next one will be this 30 here. We'll have 30. And we are currently working on I2. So I2 came first. And then I3 here flowing to the opposite direction. So I2 is going down, but I3 is going up, right? So we'll have I2 minus I3. And for the last resistor, we have this 20 ohm resistor. But the only current that passes through it is only I2, so we multiply it by I2. All of that will equal to zero. Okay, that's good. Now let's do some math. The term I1 only comes from here. So we'll have minus 20 multiplied by I1 and the term I2 came from three places 1, 2, 3, right? so you'll have 20 plus 30 plus 20 which is 70, right? so I'll have plus 70 I2 and then the last term I3 only came from here so we will have minus 30 I3 and let's move this minus IT to the right hand side. So we will have AT. And let's save this as equation number two. Now let's move on 
to the third loop which is KVL at loop I3. KVL at loop I3. KVL said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. Okay, now let's start with this resistor here. We will have 30. And currently we are working on I3, right? So I3 came first. But here I2 is flowing to the opposite direction. So I3 is going up. I1 is going down. So I will have I3 minus I1. Good. And then plus we will have 30 ohm again. And the only current that passed through it is I3. We are talking about the loop current, not branch current, right? So that is I3. And then we will have plus another 30 ohm resistor. And again, we multiply I3 first. But here I2 is flowing to the opposite direction. I3 is going up. I2 is going down. So we will write I3 minus I2. Good. And all of that will equal to zero because we work on all the components. Okay, so now we will have minus 30 I1. And then I2 only comes from here. So we'll have minus 30 I2. And then for I3, that comes from three places, right? One, two, three. So we will have plus 90 I3. All of that will equal to zero. And that is equation number three okay now we have three equation and three variables what should we do we can use elimination substitution ordinary uh, row operations or matrix inverses but the fastest way to do that is by using calculator so let's set up our calculator let's reset it first uh okay set okay let's set this up as equation number equation solver which is this button here and number five three variables is number two okay so we will have this first equation 70 minus 20 and then minus 30 good and all of that will equal to 80 and then the second row is the second equation so we'll have minus 20 and then 70 and then minus 30 and that will equal to 80 right and then the third equation is minus 30 minus 30 and then 90 and then finally 0 okay so we will have i1 is 2.667 I1 is equal to 2.667 and the unit is ampere and what is I2? I2 is the Y value which is the same so I'll have 2.667 ampere and then what is I3? I3 is 1.778 1.7 8 and the unit is in ampere but the question does not ask about i1 i2 and i3 it asks about pab and i0 which we can calculate actually uh the first thing that we need to calculate is i0 so we'll have i0 it is the only current that passed through this v 30 ohm resistor so it is the same as i3 so we'll have i0 is equal to the value of I3 which is 1.778 ampere okay and that is good and the second one what is VAB what is VAB VAB we can just calculate it using Ohm's law which is I0 multiplied by 30 so that will be 1.778 multiplied by 30 and what does that results I think we need to put it into calculator so we will have 1.778 multiplied by 30 ok 
Okay, we will have 53.34. 53.34. Four and the unit is volt. And let's put this into the box because that is I0 and also the AB, which is the answer of the problem. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.